Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man Army of Two Run. We're looking uh, to beat the game with uh, on the highest difficulty with uh, nothing but two uh, operatives permission. It's time for an ambush. It is month number eight. Things are going our way all ever so slowly. And uh, we are fighting against a couple of losts. So let's begin the rescue without further ado. Uh, generally speaking, we are on the brink between, I would say, mid-game and end-game as we're trying to slowly but surely upgrade our weapons. Since we're short on supplies, we really had, uh, haven't had so many supplies yet, so it's, um, it's, it's a bit of a grind. So since we're short on supplies, it actually absolutely makes sense to... Um, to, to upgrade uh, the smaller weapons uh, first. So, for instance, the normal rifles haven't been touched, but uh, the pistols and uh, the machine guns have been upgraded so far. So we're going to see our Templar with an upgraded machine gun, but not with upgraded, uh, uh, not, not with upgraded melee weapons. As always, for those of you who have never seen an extraction, first of all, there's going to be a drop here. This drop includes uh, three enemy soldiers, and these three enemy soldiers will fight us. That's all good and relatively easy. Once they are dead, we can proceed, and the rest should be no problem whatsoever. There's the drop. The special uh, delivery uh, for us is... We are this time putting uh, our good friend Magister right in the middle and thanks to his blade storm we're going to see what uh, would happen to um, soldiers that are being dropped carelessly. That's now going to be a massacre. We have, by the way, reached the highest level of the highest level of soldiers. So these soldiers here all have 12 hit points, which for troopers is as high as it gets. Good. So what we can do is the following. Just so you can see how much damage we actually can dish out. Very action economy efficient. Not only did he kill both of them immediately, we are now looking for parry. By the way, the advent uh, captain will die from Bladestorm, so... And we're going to parry the the last shot from from this trooper. Here's the captain. Late storm kills it. And this is going to be a parry and or reflect. Nice little parry. Okay, so far so good. Let's rock. Got it covered. Reload, Overwatch. I think Magister will just clean house during this mission. He's quite literally not giving a shit about any of the loss. Hmm. 
Look at that here. Just as an indication like how it works for him. Bam. Four losses with just one kill. Uh, with just one strike. The only thing that isn't working for him are the resets uh, for, melee, uh, for melee attacks. But then again, he has played Storm, so if anything comes close to him, he'll just attack it. It's probably going to be one of the fastest escapes that I've played. And Cyber doesn't even really need to do anything. There we go. First enemy. By the way, we're completely immune against uh, fire. So this gentleman here can't really do anything. Got ourselves an autoloader. I repeat what I said earlier. I wish we would get a couple more PCSs because that's really a shortage that we do have. I paid uh, 50, um, 50 Intel just to get one PCI, uh, one PCS, a superior scope, which is worth it, don't get me wrong, but that should indicate uh, to you how much a good PCS is worth. And us not having them is a bit of a tragedy. Carrying. On the move. Let's move into cover. Kill there we go, there's the swarm of lost. So how to deal with Lost in a proper way would probably be something along the lines of Headshot. That's the cool part about him. As a sidearm, pistols uh, absolutely do not require any form of ammunition. Time to get to the last uh, mm, Advent. This world is ours. Okay, well, that worked rather remarkably well. I conclude Magister is a beast. And 
I, by the way, need to uh, retract my initial opinion about Templars. The longer I'm playing these extreme challenging uh, modes, for instance, the uh, the ballistic only four men, permanent dark events, double enemy hit points, or this mode here, like the longer I play these, the more I get to appreciate how how extremely strong the kit of the Templar itself is. Uh, the amount of defense that the character has allows for a different sort of gameplay. Normally XCOM 2 is completely alpha strike driven, so you discover the enemy, then you just use your cooldowns in order to completely blow them away and try to preserve conservatives. If things go wrong, you basically take a, conserv uh, 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 con a conservative, not conservative, um, a consumable, sorry. A consumable like a mimic beacon and then rinse and repeat uh, that way you can pretty effectively play the game um, and if you're good at it you can stack almost infinite number of enemies because with things like face off or or similar uh, traits you're just dealing a lot of damage so the damage dealing was never the problem but the defense always was a bit of a problem and having a character class that uh, stacks dodge has, has a parry chance even has a reflect chance uh, just goes in and, and melees this is a pretty a pretty good design so whoever designed the templar in its in its core function um, really did a pretty pretty good job i need to congratulate him or her so let's take a look Wow, dodge plus eight. Hmm, well, it's not bad either. The engineer isn't bad. Resistance contacts and aim is good. Well, I like the whole reduce the avatar progress uh, thing here. We're currently on a roll. So let's use Roby. We cannot be ambushed, that's good enough for me. Roby gets plus one health, which we need. And that's pretty much okay. I think we're exclusively focusing on getting the avatar progress down, because that will solve my biggest problem. We are currently still having avatar progress. Minus two and another minus two. That would be pretty amazing, because all of a sudden we would... Um, we would have no problem with the Avatar project whatsoever. We still have five facilities, don't get me wrong. That's pretty good. Nice. 50 alloys and 40 Alarion crystals. It doesn't get much better than that. Guerrilla Operations is good. Guerrilla Operations gives us the option to basically counter another dark event. I want technical analysis though, so let's continue making progress. If the guerrilla ops is still there, we can do it. And look at that, high explosives, density of high explosives. That almost uh, screams that we should get dragon over there. Ninety one Intel is pretty good. <laughs> I don't want to do a protect the device. So it's between ninety one Intel, which I think we're going to go for, and two hundred and thirteen supplies. Mainly for the hidden event. And because I like high explosives. <laughs> uh, 
I don't know. I, I want to play the high explosives mission because it's so much fun to rush through the mission with Dragonova. But I feel the other one is more valuable. So, which soldiers do we have? Well, fuck it. Dragonova isn't, av isn't available. So we got Edgar Alien Poe. Well, we could get Dragonova, but Dragonova would be injured afterwards and gets another uh, psychical trait. At least we don't have to worry about keeping the council happy anymore, even with the spokesman lurking in the shadows. Hmm. We could stop the negative trait recovery and just take Zirkin and Renvin, and that's probably what we're going to do. Sucks stopping it uh, that far into the training because we we've gone through six days. Yeah, but I wouldn't see much of a uh, much of a chance elsewise. I don't want to go in. Uh, yeah, I know. All progress will be lost. It sucks. Captain Edgar Alien Poe loses his fear. All of them have negative traits by now, so might as well uh, start with those. Anyways, um, I'm going to prepare. It was a short, uh, short video today. I'm going to prepare uh, the mission, and we are going to see each other in the next um, mission, which is most likely going to be Operation Purple Hawk. So thank you so much for watching, it was a pleasure as always, and uh, see you in the next uh, video. Bye-bye!